everyone, welcome to the video. Now, I just wanted to do a quick one on making a fluorocarbon trace for pike because I've noticed some of the prices in the shops are absolutely horrendous. And once you've got your initial outlay of your materials and your crimping pliers, you can make these for a pound each rather than five pound for a set of two. So you're saving yourself a lot of money by making your own traces. Now, what you'll need is some double barrel sleeves double barrel crimps that's those ones you'll need a lighter I'll tell you what that's for in a minute your fluorocarbon trace material I like to go for one millimeter a pair of crimping pliers now these are the ones that I'll show you actually these are the ones that don't have teeth these are the ones that are round so they just squeeze the center of the barrel rather than actually crushing it down so that's what you need for them and some egg snap swivels you can buy just barrel swivels if you want to and egg snaps or either way you want to do it or you can buy the pack like that and then you can divide them up into your two separate pieces there so what i start by doing is getting a length of your fluorocarbon trace material that's around about 45 centimetres, there or thereabouts. I like to use a nice long piece because I don't want to be cutting it short when we're talking pike. Don't want to be uh, leaving anything in anyone's mouths, do we? So we push one of the double barrel crimps onto the end. Like that. You see that there? And then pop on your swivel next. And then, with it being a double barrel crimp, we can just pass the trace material back through the end. So we're left with that little loop and your trace material going one end, coming out the other, and you've got a little tag end. Now, with that, what I then do is grab the lighter and just put a little blob on the end of the trace material. Now that what that does is that if for whatever reason you do have a problem with your crimp, if it starts to open up, then that little blob will stop it from pulling all the way through your crimp. So you pull that tight to the crimp and pull the other end through so it closes that loop up. Not all the way, because we do want a little bit of movement. But that is pretty much perfect, just there. So then what we do, take our crimping pliers. Now these crimping pliers are specifically for double barrel crimps. You can get the other ones with the teeth in that aren't suitable for this material. So you will need to buy a decent set of crimping pliers. We pop that in there, you find the right find the right diameter for the crimp there we go got that one and what we then do is give it a good squeeze right in the middle of the crimp there we go and then you are left with that so as you can see I've given it a good squeeze right in the middle of the crimp it's splayed out on the ends which I want because you don't want any sharp edges rubbing on the fluorocarbon and that's that side done perfectly. Now that is not gonna come loose, guaranteed. And then what we do with the other side, it's exactly the same thing. So pop your double barrel crimp on. But instead we stick the egg snap on run it through, run it back through blob it down with the lighter just be careful when you're doing that it's a bit dodgy me doing this on camera now because it's uh, I can't really see what I'm doing too much so yeah, got the blob, pull that back through so it's butted up right against the end there and then pull the other end, pull that loop not tight, we want a little bit of movement, but I don't want that loop going over the top of where the ends of the wire are there. 
push that wheel a little bit so pull it a little bit tighter just so it's got movement there we go and that's not going to go over the ends of the clip and then we do exactly the same thing with this crimp as what we did with the last one find whereabouts we'll crimp it down but not absolutely crush it to the point where you're damaging your material in the middle so that one there's perfect get it right in the middle give it a good squeeze and that should be perfect there we go right in the middle spot on yeah so that then is your fluorocarbon pipe trace done dusted ready to go ready to tie on ready to catch some fish now as i said before that all in all when you make it yourself after the initial outlay of your crimping pliers will probably cost you about a pound after you've done what 10 traces you've paid for your crimping pliers so if you are an avid pipe fisherman and you do use fluorocarbon traces just have a think about investing in a pair of crimping pliers and buying your own materials because you will save yourself a hell of a lot of money anyway hope that helped if you like it leave a like subscribe and i will catch you in the next one cheers mm -hmm.